Welcome to another in our series of short videos focusing on how to evaluate in A-level economics. The idea here is that we pick a topic, a question, and think about three key points we can develop and then three evaluation points which link back to the argument we've made. In this question, we're going to look at uh, the topic of the economics of an increase in the inflation target. Here's our question. Evaluate the case for the Bank of England increasing their inflation target. In other words, changing the CPI inflation target from, let's say, 2% to maybe 3 or 4%. Let's look at some of the arguments. First key point, if the inflation target is raised from, let's say, 2% to 4%, then commercial banks may start to increase the interest rates on savings to attract deposits. Counter argument, or an evaluation argument, is that whether savings actually see an increase in real interest rates depends on what actually happens to inflation and savings interest rates tend to lag other interest rates so an increase in inflation target wouldn't necessarily automatically benefit savers in real terms second argument a higher inflation target helps to lower or reduce the risks of an economy getting stuck with price deflation which can be costly to investment and jobs so having a higher inflation target perhaps takes you a little bit further away from the risk of deflation, which has affected countries like Japan and Greece. Valuation argument is that inflation is always unpopular with households, particularly if they think the rewards from their hard work are being undermined by, by rising prices, which decreases their real incomes. Third point is that if we tolerate a higher rate of inflation, let's say 3 to 4%, that may help to reduce the real value of debt especially two particular examples, especially mortgage debt and government debt. And this will help the economy in the long term because the, the real value of debt will, will shrink a little bit more quickly. But the counter evaluation argument is that lenders will start to expect and perhaps anticipate a higher rate of inflation in the future. And they may decide, therefore, to increase the interest rates they charge on loans. So although the real value of debt may come down in absolute terms, the cost of servicing the debt may go up. So there we go, we've built three arguments for saying that perhaps a higher inflation target would be beneficial for countries. And we've developed three critical evaluation arguments.